Hello YouTube, hello America, hello the world. This is Eric at FlexDDC.com. Okay, so this is going to be a very confusing video, probably like all my videos. Sorry. Uh, because these are complicated. There's lots of different things going on. What I'm going to do right now is floats. Okay, float valves. All right. So we got lots of different float valves. This is the simplest one. This is the smallest one. Oh, well, this one, sorry. This one's the simplest one, smallest one. This is approximately, I think this is half inch pipe thread, but it's got a nut. Everything's all self contained, okay? The float comes with it. You drill a hole. I think this is like 5 8 hole. You put the nut through it. You connect on this point. I think this is a 3 8 pipe, I think. Uh, it's not, it'll be on the website with the correct connection point. But it's all self-contained, it's very easy. You can adjust the float. Got a little wing nut here, you can adjust the float. It doesn't pass a lot of water, but it's only 3 8 okay? Next step up is the half inch. Now, when you get in the half inch, now this is where you get your separate components, okay? This is the actual valve. Uh, let's see, this, this doesn't have a nut on it, but it does come with a nut. This is your connection point. This is male pipe thread. Okay, so in other words, I don't have one here, but you could take a uh, female adapter and fed, thread the female adapter on here directly. That would act as your nut, and that would tighten this up, and that would give you a connection point. Water comes out this side. This is also inch half. No, sorry, <laughs> sorry, half inch male pipe thread. But this is components, okay? Which means you have to buy the arm and the float. And on the website, we have both arms and floats, right? Floats, floats, okay? Generally speaking, you use a small valve with a small float. But there are times when you would want to use a small valve with a big float. Why would you want to do that? Okay, pressure. If you're running a little bit of pressure, gravity feed, 20, 30 PSI, maybe 40, 50, okay? The small float will exert enough force to close this valve under that much pressure. However, if you're running high pressure and you only are using the small valve, then you might need the big float to exert enough force to close this valve. Because if you don't have enough force, the, the pressure here can overcome the float, forcing it open. And then you will not have a float valve anymore. You'll just have a leak. <laughs> Water coming through someplace where it should be stopping. Okay, that's half inch. This is three quarter. Same thing. Now this is the medium size. So typically you would use the medium size float. Sorry. The arms are more or less the same. We have some different lengths. Uh, it doesn't really matter. They're all about the same size. But if you need, like, the longer the arm, the more torque you apply to the valve. So the more closing pressure you have. So you can use short ones, long ones. We sell them separately. They're on the website by length. Okay? If you need help on this, call me or email me. Right? This is three quarter inch, same as the half inch. Here's your nut. This one happens to have a nut on it. Okay? You have a male three quarter inch here, which almost never has a connection point, but it could if you wanted. Then you got one inch. Okay, this is a big honker. Flows a lot of water. One inch. Here's your arm. This is the one that is generally used with this one. That's the large float. Okay? So you, we got the small, medium, large floats. Then we have the small, medium, large, or whatever. They're listed on the website by length. And then you get the valve. Then you got this puppy. This is a metal valve. Okay? This thing flows a lot. It, the opening, the way it opens is much better than this one over here. Understand, most of the time people have float valves, they're not after full flow. That's not the issue, okay? But if you do need a lot of flow on a float valve, this is the puppy to get. Uh, it takes all the same stuff. The, I hate the adjuster on this thing. It's this tiny. You gotta have a pair of pliers to get it loose because it's just a little wing nut. You got a pair of pliers to tighten it, you gotta have to have a pair of pliers to open it. These guys just have wing nuts. Easy to do with your hand. But when you get this big metal guy, because of the amount of forces involved, they use this guy with this uh, little screw, whatever, it requires a wrench to, or a pair of pliers to tighten it and loosen it. But you can see this guy opening up, you can see how much this moves. Most of these other ones don't move that much. And there's a big old hole in here. Just when I'm looking down inside, I know you can't see it from over there, but there's just a huge hole compared to these ones. Maybe I should do a video where they're looking down. The problem is I need a lot of light to do it, if you can see it. Yeah, anyways, trust me on this. 
the hole is much bigger. The flow path is much bigger on this one, okay? Again, you only need this if you're really flowing a lot of water, okay? So that's floats, float valves, float arms, and the actual floats themselves, okay? All together, compromise a float valve. All right, this has been Eric at FlexPVC.com. If you like this video, please share it. Say you like it, subscribe if you think this is helpful to you. Try not to put out too many videos. Basically, when I get in the mood to make videos, I make videos. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for watching.